Hi everyone. going to be a follow-on video to the skin care video I posted last week where I tried out a company called Odalik 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 Skin Care on me and on you and that same company Odalik sent me some of their makeup items to try out, which I'm very excited about. Again, their products are made in the UK, they're vegan, not tested on animals, organic, and soil association verified. And I've been desperately trying to replace or swap out my makeup brands once they're all used up, to a vegan and cruelty-free brands. So I'm really pleased that I found a company who make these items that are also based in the UK too. And as always, thank you to Odalik for sponsoring this video today. Can't wait to try out these products. So we have four different products. So we're not going to be doing a full face um, makeup look in this video. It's going to be more like an everyday minimal kind of look because we only have a concealer, an eyeliner pencil, mascara and a lipstick. But those, in my personal opinion, are the staples of any makeup um, drawer, or any makeup collection. I think if you have those four products, you're pretty much good to go um, for a very simple and very elegant everyday makeup look. So, we're going to be applying this makeup on me, first of all, and then I'm going to be applying it on you. The one product I do have, um, which isn't part of the Odalique range, which you'll see me using, is um, the brow um, gel that I'll be using because my eyebrows are just a little bit crazy right now, so I'll just be using that to complete the overall look um, and just make it a little bit um, neater, so to say, but you can just leave your eyebrows however you like them or do them however you like them. I don't believe that Odalic um, have like eyebrow um, products yet. They only have um, a certain range of different makeup products. So, we'll start with the concealer. Oh, let me read it to you first. Um, so, this is the Concealer for sensitive skin. It's 76% organic. Pure, intense mineral color. Antibacterial zinc and eight soothing organic botanicals to calm and conceal blemishes and imperfections. A pure synergy of nature and nurture. It's free from artificial fragrance colour or preservatives, nanoparticles, carmine, palm oil, wheat, soy, dairy, or common allergen nuts oils. So it's free from all of those. So it comes in this like lipsticky kind of tube. And the shade that I have is called Fair because I have sort of fair skin. Looks like that. It's this shade. And it's a lipstick. Um, it's in a lipstick kind of shape, which is quite different to the concealer that I use currently, which is in like a dip kind of tube uh, with a wand. 
and it's a liquid product. Now, normally I wouldn't choose a uh, solid concealer such as this because I find them to be too heavy on my skin. I find that they cling to my skin quite a lot. So we're going to see how this goes. I, I prefer the liquid um, concealers uh, because I feel like they blend better into my skin. So I only use concealer on my under eyes, my nose, my chin, my forehead on a kind of daily-ish basis, like if I'm doing a everyday makeup look. So we're going to use it in those areas first of all. So I'm going to use my monitor. It's so creamy, like, I cannot believe it. It's super, super creamy. It doesn't feel like um, a dry at all. That's really nice. Oh my god. It, it's literally just melting into my skin. That is so nice. I like to do this kind of patting motion. It feels like skincare. It feels just really movable. That is really nice. I'm really happy with that. So I'm going to just run some down my nose, chin, forehead. That just, oh my goodness, it just melts into the skin. So nice. I've never known a concealer stick like it. A nice little bird outside the window. just melted into my skin. It feels so nice. It doesn't feel dry whatsoever. So this might not be your shade, but we're going to apply it anyway. So I'm just going to put some on your eyes there, just under your eyes. Now we're going to dab, 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 dab that in. Just Now onto your nose. Just blending that in. Just blending that in to your nose. And on your forehead. Blend that in to your forehead there. Blend it in to your forehead. And your chin. Just tap, 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 really big positive for me. Just so it's so good. So we're going to put that back in its little box. And put that to one side. Yeah, so the next product that I have is an eyeliner. This pure, intense, mineral colour and eight organic. Vitamin rich botanicals to enhance the natural beauty of your eyes. A pure synergy of nature and nurture. Ultra kind to sensitive skin. 
So the colour I chose um, isn't your uh, typical black. I actually chose the colour um, grey. I think it's called grey. Um, well, it's grey anyway. And it looks kind of like this. And what I like to do with eyeliner is actually tight line my eyes. So the, um, the water line. So the, the tip is quite sharp at the moment, so I'm going to just blunt it on the back of my hand so it's not too, like, pointy. And if you can see, it's like that kind of charcoal snake grey colour. And I'm going to move closer to the camera so I can use the monitor to, uh, to look. It's a very, very pigmented. super super soft as well which is really nice because it doesn't like poke your eye out I'm actually going to go and grab a mirror for my other eye because it's actually quite hard to um, to use the monitor as a mirror but you can kind of see the difference here and it's not like an overpowering black kind of shade which sometimes can look quite harsh um, especially on me in particular but it's that nice subtle grey colour and you can you can really see the difference here but I'm going to go and grab a mirror for the other eye okay so I've grabbed a mirror we're going to try this again but with a mirror this time You see that those two eyes have been lined now. The formula is really nice. Um, it's really soft and it's not like dry in any way. I often find eyeliner pencils can be quite pulley, quite draggy as well. Um, and they just drag your eye, which isn't so good. Um, but I don't know how it will hold up. In terms of waterproofness, I don't think it's waterproof. Um, and in terms of like running and stuff like that, um, I don't know. Um, but we'll, I'll wear it today and um, I'll let you know on my social media and stuff like that if it's, you know, if it runs or anything like that. So I think I'm going to just leave that there. I think it's just really nice to just tight line your eyes um, to just give your lash line that definition and depth. Sometimes I like to do um, like wings liner but I don't usually use the pencils for that. And maybe we can do like a nice smudged out kind of a look with this pencil if we use like a little fine line um, brush to kind of smudge this line out but maybe I'll do that in another video but overall really happy with that and of course let's do your eyes now now you might not find the tight lining to be comfortable so if you just close your eyes I will just do a nice line on your lash line here just a nice thin just to define your lash line here and on the other side just to make your lashes pop nice, very subtle, very flattering colour good, it looks really nice on you so, really pleased with the eyeliner Next, we are going to be moving on to mascara. And I'm very, very fussy with my mascaras. 
I've only ever used two brands, um, well I've used many brands but only two um, have really worked for me and that is the Maybelline, um, I can't remember what it's called but it's like in a purple, um, purple tube Oh, it's starting to rain <laughs> Um, it's in like a purple tube and um, the other one is the Charlotte Tilbury um, Lash Sensation. Oh, the Maybelline is called Lash Sensational and the Charlotte Tilbury is called um, Big Fat Lashes or something like that. So I'm really fussy. They're the only two that make my eyelashes not look so crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm really excited to try out um, the Eau de Lake one. So I'm going to grab it. Okay, so this is the mascara, and it's in the in the shade black. Um, I think they did other shades, but I just prefer the black for my particular eyelashes. Um, so again, the pure, intense mineral color and eight organic botanicals, including aloe vera juice, calendula, cocoa butter, and sea bop thorn. To define and condition your lashes, kind to your eyes with no synthetic fibers, fillers, or toxins. And apply to lashes from base to tips. For a more dramatic definition, apply a second coat after about five minutes. To prevent drying out, roll wand within container to coat brush and keep closed after use. So, sometimes. <laughs> with my eye makeup, I actually am really sensitive and with the um, uh, eyeliners that I use, I tend to get like very irritable kind of eyes afterwards but I'm pleased to say that after wearing this um, eyeliner for a few minutes, I haven't had any of that experience whatsoever and sometimes I get it with the mascara I think I probably am allergic to my mascara, but I still wear it. So I'm really um, excited to see if this one has that effect. Now it's all about the wand. And this is the uh, wand. Um, the wand size, so it's quite big and quite flary. Um, normally I'm used to smaller ones with smaller teeth. Um, like brushes, so hopefully this won't make my eye my eyelashes kind of splay out uh, too much. I have to pull that funny face when you're doing your bottom lashes. That's one eye done. And actually, it's really nice. It doesn't have that, um, like, again, it's like that draggy texture. Like, the, like it pulls your eyelashes out. It's actually really smooth. It goes on really, really smooth. Do this side. I'm actually going to turn around the other side. is the mascara and it has actually given my eyelashes like quite a bit of length and definitely a lot of colour. It's perfect I think for an everyday mascara like it feels super super nourishing and it looks really really pretty and really subtle and
hasn't clumped or anything and I was really surprised because normally I don't get on with those kind of ones but it looks amazing and I'm really pleased with it so that's your turn few groups here, we're going to start from the base of the root, and the ashes, and pull up very gently, and I'll do the bottom lashes to even the eyes out. Good. And now, this side. Go from the base of the ash. really happy with that. Um, I really love that. It just looks so lovely and subtle and so natural and I'm all about the natural kind of look, especially nowadays. I've stopped wearing foundation as you know, so I'm always, always after products which make me look like, like no makeup, makeup look. Um, so yeah, that's a total winner. So I'm going to put it back in it box uh, we are going to move on to the last product which is lipstick and I've accidentally picked up the concealer box <laughs> they, they look the same as you can see they're in the same box so lipstick um has the same thing. Vitamin rich botanicals to enhance moisture and care for your lips. So lipstick and I have a bit of a love-hate relationship. <laughs> I absolutely love lipstick and I love liquid lipsticks. I love to have like bright colored lipstick on, a red lip sometimes, but I find that the lipsticks that I own just absolutely dry my lips out like crazy and whenever I wear lipstick in the day by the end of the day I am fighting to get it off I just want to go home and take my lipstick off and I hate to reapply it throughout the day and it's just so annoying but I just love the, the way it makes my face look and especially since I don't wear foundation anymore, I always find that a nice pop of colour on your lips really helps to balance out the, the look of like natural skin. So I hope that this um, lipstick is going to be the one to moisturise but also provide colour. So the colour that I chose is, I believe... Plum something or other. I can't find the shade. Well, it's number eighteen. I think it's like. Uh, I think it's it. It was like plum, plum something. I'll put the um. I'll put the link and the name of it down in the description box. It really bugs me. I really want to know now, but anyway, I'll just apply. Is this shade? So it's a really like dusty kind of purple color, and they had so many different shades, which all looked so beautiful and just so pretty. But I chose the shade that I thought would fit my um, skin uh, a little bit better, um, and also that autumn coming up. I wanted a shade that is quite autumnal and, um, you know, quite nice for fall. So we're going to apply it. I'm going to use the monitor again. Oh my goodness. That is so nourishing. Oh, it feels like a lip balm. Oh my goodness, I love that. I just want to keep applying it. Alright, let's just 
let's work it in. My fingertip is absolutely lovely. Feels amazing on my nips. And it's just a nice sheer wash of colour. It's more like a tinted pink. Oh, that's really nice. And it looks so natural as well. I just, oh, I'm so happy with this. This is unbelievable. Oh, it feels, I just want to keep touching it. <laughs> oh, it feels so nice. It doesn't feel dry whatsoever. It doesn't feel like I've got lipstick on at all. You know, sometimes uh, lipsticks have that kind of sticky, tacky kind of feeling. This does not have that whatsoever. Oh, it's amazing. I'm going to use the rest on my cheeks. You know what I have left over. That's like a blush and that just melts into the skin. That is really nice. I really like that. Hmm. Definitely going to be wearing this every day when I have makeup, when I put makeup on. And I might even buy the rest of the colours because that's unbelievable. I've never, I've never experienced a lipstick like this. And that just looks so beautiful and so so natural and it's just it's a really like me colour as well <laughs> alright so let's apply some to you so just pout your lips for me and I'm going to apply some to the bottom lip first of all good and then if you can just press your lips together you'll have that wonderful mm, silky silky hydrate you. Good. Just fill in the top there. And I'm going to take my finger and just blend, 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 blend that in to your lips. You look brilliant. So I'm going to put that back into its little box. Now to finish off the look, and this is totally optional. I mean, my eyebrows don't look too bad today, but I'm going to be doing some more filming later on, so I'm going to fill them in. Um, I'm using the MUA Brow Define Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Mid Brown. Just like a little wandy thing. I'm actually going to get my mirror for this. So I'm quite specific about my eyebrows. This just adds a, um, I mean, it just brushes out your eyebrows, really. Um, and adds like a, uh, a tint to them. Alright. <laughs> Would you like your eyebrows done too? Alright, so the edge there. I'm just going to brush them out. It might not be exactly right for your eyebrows, but at least they'll provide you some structure there a little bit. And let's go this way. That's really good. Alright, so that is the makeup look complete. And 
I am just so blown away by this company. Um, the concealer is still really much in place. I haven't powdered my face or anything like that. Um, the eye, the eyeliner, um, it doesn't transfer a little bit. You can just see a little bit here. Let's just remove that. It does transfer, but in my opinion, mostly all of my eyeliners that I've ever tried do that. They transfer onto the bottom uh, waterline. So far this hasn't actually done that. We've just had a little a couple of little splodges here and there. But again, nothing too unfixable. And really, most mascaras and most eyeliners do that anyway. Lipstick is the total winner of the day. I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm going to be wearing this all the time. Absolutely love it. Lips still feel hydrated. They don't feel sticky or irritable, anything like that. And the excess is a brilliant blush, like a creamy blush. So you can just, you know, double it up. You could probably use a little bit as a um, sheer sheen on your eyelids as well if you didn't want to wear eyeshadow that day. So I love it. I just love this brand so much. It's, um, it is really, really such a winner and I haven't used these products before. Um, this is like first go. Um, so to have that initial first reaction um, so positive is, is wonderful. So I'm going to take my hair down. the finished look. It is super natural, super um, wearable, everyday kind of a look. You know, it won't take you any more than like five minutes to just put on some eyeliner, mascara, uh, lipstick and double it up as a, uh, as a blush. So thank you guys so much for link all the products that I use down in the description. If you haven't checked out my um, Odalique skincare uh, video I posted last week, then I'll link that down in the description too. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you guys soon.